Hey good morning everyone my name is Vipin Kumar and in today's video we will learn Azure Pipeline versus Visual Studio Build and Publish. In this demonstration first we are going to build and publish .NET project with Visual Studio then we will convert all the manual step in Azure Pipeline. The goal of this video, you should able to convert your manual step into Azure Pipeline automation. Who have already experienced on how to build and publish artifact of ASP.NET code in Visual Studio, they can skip first part of this video. So let's begin our first part of this video. Let me open my ASP.NET project in Visual Studio. Who doesn't have .NET project handy? They can download a sample .NET project from my GitHub account. This is the sample project for ASP.NET. You can download it and use for the demonstration. I have already downloaded the files at my local system in my project you will find a solution file so what is a solution file solution file contains information about the solution such as a list of the project build configuration and other settings that are not project specific now let's open this solution file in visual studio go to in visual studio and open the Solution Explorer. The Solution Explorer has been open in the right hand side. Now go to File and open. Select Project and Solution. Select your .NET project folder and select the solution file. Open it. Say OK. Now you can see here your ASP.NET project has been opened or loaded in Visual Studio. Before build and publish, let's look at some build configuration of this project. Select the project, right click and select the properties. You can see a common configuration regarding the application. For example, target framework is 4.5.2 in build section you can see configuration is debug on platform any cpu so what is any cpu means here so basically you need to specify a particular cpu whatever it's uh, 86 or 64 during build process if you specify any cpu then visual studio build your project for any cpu target machine it means that it will run has 64 bit on a 64 bit machine and 34 bits on a 32 bits machine in the output section all the assemblies and executable are going to be stored under bin folder or bin directory of the project Visual Studio by default configure and you get management tool for your project. You can also manage and you get package management tool. Click on tools and select and you get package manager. So what is and you get package manager or management? Basically and you get has become one of the best choice for the package management in Microsoft portfolio it simplifies handling of the third party libraries automatically configure your project by adding the reference to all the necessary assemblies and update source and configuration file for example has a project grow the need for additional functionality increase now you have two choice either you can create this additional functionality by yourself or you can use those functionality that is already created by someone else 
I would go with the second option because I don't want to reinvent the wheels. I will or developer search all those functionality in different source location like GitHub or Codeflex. Now challenge is that who is going to manage all those libraries that is located in different source location. Then and you get package management comes in picture because and you get manage all those libraries like downloading updating for your project in one location from various source location let's go ahead build and publish the dotnet artifact for your project for that select the project right click and click on publish now it is giving the options you can directly upload these artifacts on app services azure virtual machine or is and ftp for this demonstration i am just downloading the artifacts in a folder so select a folder and you can choose a folder but i am okay with default location and click on publish visual studio started to build your project you can see a output window and your project successfully build and publish you can download your artifacts for your project from this location let me pick up this location and open in the browser now you can see here your dotnet project successfully build and publish on this folder this is the first part of this video and now in second part of video we are converting all those manual steps which we have taken in visual studio to build and publish into azure pipeline automation so let's go ahead and create azure pipeline okay i forgot to mention a very important components in earlier part of this video and this is ms build visual studio 2017 usage ms build has its compilation engine ms build usage xml based configuration file to identifying the layout of a build project it means that visual studio by default huge ms build for the packaging and building a project now let's convert all manual build steps into azure pipeline so what is a azure pipeline azure pipeline is a cloud service that you can use to automating build and test your code you can use yaml to define your pipeline also you require to put azure pipeline.yaml file on your project root folder you need to add all the steps in this yaml file to build and test your code so let's begin i store my asp.net sample code on the github account you can see here this is the root folder of my application code and i do have a azure pipeline.yml file on this root location this is the content of azure pipeline.yml file i will discuss about this file later in this video let's create a new project in public area since my repository is located on git public space so i am going to select public and go ahead and create it so now demo project has been created in the right hand side go to in pipeline and currently there is no build pipeline is available let's create a new pipeline select the repository location my code is located on a github account now you require to 
authenticate and authorize on your github account click on authorize since my git user account and password saved on the browser so it got authenticate and authorize automatically on my github account let's go ahead and select a repository these are repository in my github account since my code is located on asp.net sample repository select it it automatically detected a azure pipeline.yaml file on my root folder if it is not located there then it is going to give you option to create a new one in designer before going to run it let's discuss about this file you can create a yaml file in notepad notepad plus plus or you can create yaml file in visual studio or visual studio code for this demonstration i am opening the yaml file in visual studio code so this is the azure pipeline dot yaml file and we can start line number six this is the agent pool and we are using the visual studio 2017 on windows 2016 vm machine line number nine is variables and we do have the variables for solution we already discussed about solution file in earlier video build platform any cpu we already discussed about this variable also in earlier video build configuration equal to release in ms build you require to give a parameters or variable release for build and package your code most important part started steps these steps talks about a complete task or activities you want to perform in this file task number one and you get command at the rate 2 basically this is a sequence at the rate 2 at the rate 0 at the rate 1 the task and you get command at the rate 2 at the rate 2 is a sequence of the command or task we spoke about and you get command in earlier video in this particular command and you get package manager will download all the dependency from different source location for your project task vs build at the rate 1 this task is going to build and package for your code solution equal to solution variable that means a solution file ms build argument this is the parameters or argument we are passing to ms build dot exe to build and package your application code let's look at one by one parameters deploy on build equal to true when this process is equal to true then build process will be extended to perform a publish as well parameters web publish method equal to package this option is going to combine your compilation code into a package package single file true this option is going to create a single file of your compilation code skip invalid configuration true it means that it is going to ignore any invalid configuration in your code and this is the package location it is going to create your artifacts in build dot staging directory platform is dollar build platform variables it means any cpu configuration is dollar build configuration build configuration is release line number 26 task testing this particular task is going to perform a test on your application code platform is any cpu and configuration is 
रिलीज लाइन नंबर थर्टी टू पॉपलिस बिल्ड आर्टिफैक्ट एट द रेट वन दिस पर्टिकुलर टास्क इज गोइंग टू स्टोर योर कंपालीशन कोड इन ए सिंगल पैकेज कॉल्ड ड्रॉप ड्रॉप इज ए डिफॉल्ट नेम ऑफ आर्टिफैक्ट एंड ड्रॉप पैकेज विल बी अवेलेबल इन आर्टिफैक्ट सेक्शन फॉर डाउनलोडिंग ओके लेट्स गो हेड एंड रन इट सो यू कैन सी हियर इट इज स्टार्टिंग स्टेप बाई स्टेप द स्टेप्स वन इनिशलाइजेशन एजेंट दैट इज विजुअल स्टूडियो ट्वेंटी सेवनटीन ऑन विंडोज ट्वेंटी सिक्सटीन इनिशलाइजेशन जॉब गेट सोर्स फ्रॉम दी गेट अप अकाउंट एन यू गेट टूल इंस्टॉलर एन यू गेट पैकेज मैनेजर इंस्टॉल्ड एन यू गेट कमांड रन ऑन सोल्यूशन फाइल टू डाउनलोड ऑल द डिपेंडेंसीज वी एस बिल्ड कंपाइल द कोड एंड जनरेट ए पैकेज फाइल वी एस टेस्ट कंप्लीट द टेस्टिंग ऑन कंपाइल कोड पब्लिस बिल्ड आर्टिफैक्ट क्रिएट ए ड्रॉप पैकेज फाइल ऑफ कंपाइल कोड लेट्स गो हेड एंड चेक द समरी दीज आर समरी ऑफ ईच टास्क दैट हैज बीन कंप्लीटेड यू कैन सी हियर बिल्ड आर्टिफैक्ट पब्लिस ड्रॉप फाइल हैज बीन क्रिएटेड एंड यू कैन गो हैड एंड डाउनलोड इट you can check the test result and you can see here it perform total two test and this is the result of your test you can also download your compilation code from artifacts and you can see here drop package file is available click on drop you can expand drop folder or you can download all the files and folders at your local machine download has a zip yes save it so these are files and folders of drop location and my source code is compiled in asp.net for sample.zip file if i extract this folder also you will see my compilation code in content folder this is the compilation of my code you can directly deploy this compilation code to i server or serverless computing in the next video i am going to use azure release management system to deploy this compilation code directly on azure is web servers and serverless computing automatically in this video that's all thanks for watching have a nice day